Hi there, my name is Moalla. In this session, and maybe in following session, we want to design something like this and we want to get familiar with Figma. And maybe in another session, we will design that in B4A by designer. So first, let's speak a little about introduction to Figma and maybe designing in B4A. One of the questions that some of my students, they ask me is that, can I have a beautiful design in B4A? Of course, yes. You can have any design that you like, but you need, first of all, you need to get familiar with principles of graphic design. There are a couple of graphic designs principle that you need to learn them. For example, contrast. For example, here you see, you know, a white text on blue background. Or for example, here black one beside white takes. So it creates a kind of contrast. Or for example, alignment. For example, you see that here. Or hierarchy and other principles in graphic design, which helps you a lot in designing a good, you know, design for your Android application. The other thing that you need is to get familiar with UI principles. UI stands for user interface and after that you may need UX principles, user experience, maybe the colors and maybe the design of your application is nice but the user of your application cannot find the main parts of your application. Your application is vague so you need UX principles. And then later, you need a graphical tool, like, for example, Adobe XD, like Figma, like Sketch. I will speak more about them. And of course, you need creativity to have a good design. And over time, you can improve your creativity in designing. In this session, I will speak more about graphical tools. There are a couple of you know, graphical tools. One of the top one and best one is Adobe XD. The other one, which I really love that, is Figma. And the third one is a Sketch. For Adobe XD, you need to pay almost $10 per month. Maybe there are other plans. And for Sketch, you need to pay $99 per year. But I love Figma that is totally free, almost free. I think it has a pricing panel, but for what you need, that is free. One point about Adobe XD is that you can install that on Windows and Mac, but Sketch is only for Mac. You cannot install that on Windows. Figma is online application. You can open up your Chrome and you can design whatever that you want in Chrome. That is totally a web application. Why should I use a graphical tool? Some people, they open up designer in before a, for example, and they start their designing there. But I don't like that. That's not a good practice. Why? Because everybody can focus either on designing and maybe on another time he can focus on coding. You cannot focus on both of them at the same time. Maybe you can do that, but the result is not that good. What I do is this one. First, I try to make a wireframe. Wireframe is drawing maybe on a paper each activity and each layout of your application. For example, one rectangle for one layout and maybe on the, at the top of that one place for placeholder for maybe image and maybe some buttons here. And then I will try to make that wireframes into a good design in Figma. I prefer Figma and then after designing each and everything in Figma I will go into designer 
and then I try to make that by code and views and other things. I prefer this process, wireframe and then Figma and then designer. In this session and maybe in another session, I will speak about designing something like this in Figma and we get familiar with tools in Figma. I try to you know, design something very simple and then we will add another page like this and maybe and maybe on the third episode of these series, uh, we will make them in designer. This is Figma, what I designed. When you open figma.com, you need to log in and then you can start designing. Figma looks very simple, but at the same time, that's very powerful. It has main three parts. You know, top part, the tools you, that you can work with them on your design and layers panel and here property panel. So each item, for example, this text, when I click on that, I can see that here. So this is the layer and these are the properties of these uh, layer, a text layer. Or for example, this one, it has different properties and you can see that here. So when I click on each part of the design, I can see them here and I can see its properties here. If you want to, you know, zoom in and zoom out, you can hold shift and minus sign and plus sign like this. And we can zoom out and we can zoom in. You can uh, hit shift one to fit your design, you know, between the area that you have by control uh, backslash you can emit these panels and then you can you have wider area to work and then if i press shift one i can have bigger view of the design so let me uh, hit control back backslash and then shift one again if you are working on a particular part, for example, this part, and then you can hold shift two to zoom only on that part of your application. And by shift one, I can zoom out again. For example, I'm working on this, shift two, and then shift one. Okay, now let's zoom out a little bit. If you want to, you know, move the whole area, you hold space on the keyboard and then you can move that. You know, for example, now we want to put something here so I can hold it and I can drag it to the left side. When you want to start designing a new page, you can use this one, frame, or the shortcut is F. So I press F, you can draw like this, any size, and by delete, you can emit that. Let me press on this one again. And here you can, you know, choose something, for example, something for desktop, something for watch, something for paper. Now I want to design something for phone and for Android. So I choose this one. So there are some other things that you can use. For example, here, rectangle, line, arrow, for example, rectangle. Let me draw something here. As you see, I'm drawing inside this frame. So this is a frame and this is a rectangle, one layer inside this one. If you look at this part, you see one rectangle inside this frame. So it means if I move it right to the right side, it goes under this frame, but if this frame is out of this, if this layer is out of this frame, for example, if I drag it here, then as you see, it's out. So I need to 
keep it and hold it on this frame then that is inside that as I told you there are some you know properties for the layer that you selected here now I want to change the color I can choose one of these colors or I can choose one color here and you can work with other things for example this one and this one um, and maybe image well normally we paste that we don't use this one and this tool pen you can draw something that you want it needs another session to speak more about this but let's draw something very simple maybe this one and then it has a line or stroke around that I don't want that I want that to be filled with a color like this and maybe I need to make a curve here by uh, for example holding control I can create a curve here as you see easily you can design what you like but this is just one introduction I don't want to to speak about this pen tool in this session and uh, this one text you can type something like let me choose it again and uh, for example welcome and again the properties of these layers let me select the layer and we can increase uh, the size by holding shift and uh, arrow on your keyboard and it helps you to position that layer for example if I want to put it in the center or maybe vertically and horizontally in the center like this and if we need more contrast Maybe I can use this one. And this one I told you, you can hold uh, space and you can move it around. And this one comment, let's postpone it to another session. Okay, by hitting delete, you can delete them and even this text. Now I want to have background, this background. And normally I use this website on a splash and you can type the word that you want and you can search for a picture I have chosen this kind of design because you can use it for anything else because if that was a particular you know image for a certain topic then you know that would be different for another topic but this design you know just you can find one image general one which is related to the topic of your application and you can have this design so it's a general design for any topic it can be used for any topic so that's a good idea to learn how to design something like this so for example my application is about nature and I search for jungle and maybe this picture I right click maybe you can download that but I prefer right clicking on this one and copying image and then here I can paste that as you see and you can resize that let's resize it like this but as you see I cannot change the ratio of the image it can fit properly inside like this but as you see because I didn't like these uh, this one here I made that wider like this if you see the color here is different I use this one and then um, let's look at the picture maybe like this you can work with all of them I think it doesn't need explanation because this is you can just you know changing and looking at the result 
Okay, I think that is enough for this session. In the following session, we will design, you know, these ones here and maybe another page for this one. And another session for designing that inside designer in before A. So follow my other tutorials. And if you like my tutorials, please hit on that like button and do not forget to subscribe in my channel.